Castileo called himself an all-terrain boxer, fighter, not just a boxer, and he has shown that tonight. However, Vargas has the CompuBox statistical edge. His average round through nine rounds, 18 out of 46. Castillo's average round, 11 out of 55. Incidentally, Oscar De La Hoya flooded Castillo with punches, landing an average of 35 per round. But that was a younger De La Hoya under slightly different circumstances. Well, you know, Castillo just can't pull the trigger, so to say. He gets in position, but he still can't get the punches off that much for the most part. Now, you heard Danny Smith imploring Vargas not to listen to the crowd. Can you jab and then turn? Jab and turn. That's what he asked for. All he has to do with the box now. He should be convinced now that he's not going to knock the guy out because he hit him with everything. So I would just take off the clock and just box, box, box. Try to win a decision. And that is exactly what Danny Smith was urging him to do. for Castillejo to land the combination. Vargas doing exactly what trainer Danny Smith asked him to do in this, the final round of the fight. The new Fernando Vargas boxing and moving to a clinical victory over Javier Castillejo of Spain, or at least so it would appear. We'll wait the scorecards to see if I've messed up badly by saying that, but it feels like a Vargas unanimous decision. The crowd wanted something more exciting. Well, this is what they should do in the last round. Now, one question that I'm going to have to ask Vargas is whether or not he broke his jaw in this fight, the way it looked there at the end. Javier Castillejo may have just appeared in the United States for the last time. In fact, you may have. Let's go to the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Ted Gimza and Steve Corzo both score the belt, 97-92. Mauro De Fiore scores at 98-91. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Ferocious Fernando Varga. Effective boxing.